Hello everyone, this is Alpanta with a new series of tutorials on pimping up your G5 old clothing and giving it that new and distinctive iClone 6 look. In other words, how to go from this to this. So we will be looking at how to create a displacement map and in a later tutorial how to also create a specular map and to make the, uh, the, the trench coat soft cloth. So, first thing to do, we need to give this girl her own displacement map. And the best way to do this, very simple, is to take our diffuse map and launch it. We get something like this, which uh, automatically I've already made black and white. That's step number one. Turn your uh, diffuse map black and white. Then I decided to raise certain areas. The principle of a height map is that the darker the color, the lower. So black will be pushed back, gray will be pretty much be kept about the same uh, level, and white <coughs> or other bright colors will be pushed upwards or outwards. So I've decided that I have I want five levels of height. Uh, for example, certain things will be at a lower level, like, for example, the pockets, say. Uh, the belt will be uh, at two different levels. As you can see, this should be a bit higher than this. Uh, the buckle will be the highest thing. And I will <coughs> basically try to raise individual areas at different uh, levels. The way to do this is by using shades of gray. I want to start with the lowest level and I work in layers in the cheapest possible um, to the editor and I simply decided to raise these areas. So the pockets will be level 1, the belt and all these other parts. This of course is... Oops. This is uh, the neck part, right, this area. Uh, then with a, a, another shade of grey something a little bit lighter, I added these other parts. Then with the next layer, I added the, the lower part of uh, the buttons and a, a whole bunch of other little <coughs> the details. Level 4, uh, the, the main part of the buckle, and level 5, the, the highest thing, the thing I want to stick out the most. Once I have this, I have a choice whether to use it as is or possibly alter it like with a little bit of Gaussian a blur, which will would smooth out the effect, but in this case I, I didn't do it. So once we have our new displacement map, we load it up. I call it there it is, trench displacement. <clears throat> we want to use it of course as a height map, grayscale and launch it also into the bump channel. And boom. We get this sort of thing. Which of course we can you know <coughs> raise lower or less depending on how extreme you want the effect. The only thing I have to maybe worry about is that here in my tessellation menu, the tessellation level is as high as you uh, can get it, 10 and your multiplier should be 8 or 1 depending. So with um, this uh, we can begin to have shadows on the coat and we can also begin to bring out certain areas. As you can see if you also add um, uh, a displacement map, uh, sorry, um, a specular map, the, all, <clears throat> all the reflections and glossiness will come out uh, and will really add to the depth of the effect. 
So in a following tutorial, we'll talk about that. Uh, as usual, if you like this tutorial, please like it because it makes me feel good and I do things when I feel good. I'll see you guys very soon. Hope this helped.